The year was 2002. And George Bush was president. Tom Brady has just won his first of many Super Bowls. And my father decided to hold tryouts for stepbrothers. Now they were big, strong, fast, and smart. But we got Neil. <laughs> Years went on, Neil and I, uh, well, we, we kind of bonded a little bit. But he started dating Diana. But it was pretty obvious when they first started dating, because Neil was doing this whole, like, eh, I'm gonna marry her. I'm gonna marry her. I was like, I'm gonna, ma I'm gonna marry this girl. I was like, Neil, we, have, we haven't even completed the Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign. How are you gonna marry a girl? That's stupid. We have so much stuff to do. Growing up with Diana, I always wanted to follow her footsteps. You know, that's what little sisters do, right? Like, I always looked up to her and I wanted to be just like her. So when she did gymnastics, I did gymnastics. When she did lifeguarding, I did lifeguarding. When she did pharmacy, no way, I got out of that one. Actually, yeah, that was the one I got out of. <laughs> So one of our favorite places to go as a family was to Savory Island, where we spent many summers when the family, all the family was younger. And it was just a year ago, like three days ago. It's a beautiful sunset, and Neil goes off for a walk. And we all knew this was gonna happen, but it was like a walk into the sunset. He, of course, he uh, he, he proposes and, and, and just made us all so super happy that uh, he was asking Diana to be a bigger part of his life. Neil, your appearance in my life was and continues to be an enormous gift. You have opened up a part of my heart that I didn't even know I had. You have made a profoundly huge impact, positive impact in my life. And I am so thankful that you came into my life when you did. Diana, you are everything Neil has dreamed of. And to be perfectly honest, you're, you're what Neil's mom hoped for, too. I can't believe my little princess is a bride today. As a mother, I have anticipated many firsts when she was growing up. The first words, the first steps, the first day of school. I could not be prouder of the woman you've grown into today. You may no longer need to hold my hand, but you will be always hold my heart. You are a wife to a loving husband, but in my heart, you will always be my little girl, Yusika. <laughs> Today, my heart is bursting with pride and joy proud of the woman that you have become and joyful that you have come to know the warmth and happiness of true love. It's absolutely true that you are well set to achieve new successes and going to be a great wife and a fantastic mother. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Before meeting you, I didn't know I could love anyone as much in the way that I love you. You are everything and more that I could have ever asked for. Standing here today, I promise to never let you go a day without knowing how much I love you. You are my best friend and the woman of my dreams. Your authenticity and kindness made me fall in love with you. You are truly the most beautiful person that I've ever met, both inside and out. You've taught me that two people joined together with trust, respect, and communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You brighten all of my days with your love, and I promise to do the same. My heart is yours forever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You look perfect. I love you. I love you too. Let's get 
married today. <laughs> I built up walls like mansions to the sky Protect my heart so it would survive But you climbed in like no one else could do The day I knew I needed you I was drifting out safe from any shore sister happier than I've ever seen her and that's the best gift a sister can ask for. I know you always care for Diana, make her feel cared for, feel feel safe and also you'll continue to tell her those three important words every day. You are right. <laughs> You know, you realize Neil's like this weird fraternal twin from behind. Like, me and Neil, same age, everything. And you just took him from me. And, <laughs> and I genuinely couldn't be happier. Um, I just, I love you guys so much. It's ridiculous. There's a saying that we talked about the other day that you don't marry someone that you can live with, but you marry someone that you can't live without. And Diane and I have been living together for a couple of years now. Most importantly, we've been happy pretty much every damn day. I know I've married the right person, and I'm so grateful I finally get to call you my wife. When I found you when I